Hey guys, so what we're working on today is the TBI 350 uh, for the 48 Chevy uh, P48 project that I'm working on. I'm going to pull this out of the garage on the engine stand and give it a quick pressure washing just to clean it up. It's not too greasy, but uh, just uh, get it cleaned up because we need to paint it. I'm going to paint the whole thing gloss black, uh, including the throttle body. So I need to get some of the grunge and grime off there just to make it a little bit easier to clean later when I get ready to prep it for paint. Uh, I need to get it, the transmission bolted on the back of it and uh, then we're going to sling that back into the frame and uh, start fabbing up our motor mounts. Uh, we need to put the headers on it so I can check uh, firewall clearances for the headers and uh, drop the distributor in it so I can check firewall clearance on the back of the distributor. Uh, I'm not going to swap out the valve covers or, or bolt on the throttle body and the air filter just yet. Um, because it's going to have to come in and out a couple more times. I'm going to get it fitted in today, uh, trim the motor mounts up to fit, uh, try and get those tacked into the cross member today. I think everything's going to fit in there real nice, real clean. Uh, and if I can get all that done today, uh, then I'm going to yank it back out. And uh, tomorrow, we're going to fully weld everything. Um, I've got to get all my welding done in the morning before it gets too hot in the afternoon here in the garage. So, uh, in order to get all that done tomorrow, i got to get working today. So, uh, let's get to work. This piece will be welded into the cross member. So, this is the actual motor mount perhaps like this uh, into our cross member so they use a nice urethane bushing easily replaceable down the road if if these bushings were to wear out so that's what we're going to do now This is going to be our engine height. Clearance considerations I had to make were distributor clearance and I've got I've probably got an inch and a half behind that distributor so that's awesome. Header clearance I've got at least a fingers width so that's probably about three-eighths of an inch. The collectors dump right where I wanted them to. Uh, that cross member is going to be gone so the headers will dump down to a 45 which will run right along the frame rail perfectly. I've got plenty of room in here for motor mounts. Lots of room under the pulley and I'm going to explain that when I get under the car right now. Um, I would have liked to had it sitting lower but I had to make a concession there so I'm going to show you why. So in order not to crush the oil pan or rip the bell housing out of the transmission, I made sure that the bell housing here was the lowest point level with the cross member. That way our oil pan is up and protected uh, by the cross member so if the truck is set down all the way on the ground flat, uh, which in this case will be sitting, on, sitting flat on the running boards, it won't be sitting on the oil pan. So the lowest point here will be the bell housing. And I think that's a safe, uh, safe way to do it. So we saw how the motor fits in the engine bay. If we look inside the cab here, forgive all my boxes of awesome parts that haven't been installed yet. So if we look in here at our clearance, you can see that we have, we're going to have to make a, a little rise in the tunnel probably about an inch, inch and a quarter. Uh, just across here we'll just raise the existing plate just enough to clear the transmission. 
and then we'll have to make a bubble in the firewall here um, to clear the back of the tranny. Super minor fitment issues. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna it's gonna look great and it's gonna handle great. So there you go. Things are looking very good. I, I don't think I could have asked for much better than that. And just for the sake of due diligence, I went ahead and mounted up the fender, uh, core support, and radiator just to make sure that I didn't run into any weird clearance problem. There weren't any clearance problems, but, but uh, let me show you how it looks with, uh, with the radiator and fender in place. We've got the suspension drooped out. Core supports back in, radiators in there. Plenty of clearance at the fan. Well, we're not going to run a mechanical fan, but uh, plenty of clearance there anyway at the at the water pump pulley. The measuring and the fitment of the motor within the frame and the transmission on center uh, is taking me longer than planned. I, I, I did build the transmission cross member which you saw but I'm not going to get the motor mounts tacked in tonight as I had wanted to do. So uh, it was just a lot of trial and error you know you, you, you raise uh, the transmission a quarter of an inch and you have to move the whole motor around to get header clearance and valve cover clearance so it's it's been a lot of back and forth trial and error until I got it right where it needs to be um, and you know I had to bolt on the valve covers that we're going to run because we're not going to run stock valve covers and these covers are a little bit closer to the firewall so whereas the stock valve cover could come on and off just fine in the position I had it the aftermarket new valve cover that we're putting on it wouldn't wouldn't come off and wouldn't go on so it was touching the firewall so I had to move everything forward about geez I'm probably about an inch forward of where I wanted to be originally so when you do that then you gotta readjust how high up the cross member is so I've been shimming the cross member down to get that position correctly and lifted the motor a little bit but right now I've got it in position where it's gonna go and uh, it's all fitting just great so let me show you where we're at now um, after a couple hours of measuring and moving and sledgehammer adjustments uh, this is where we're at now So we're now a little further forward than we were. My clearance here at the header is tighter than I would like, but I don't see much way around that. Valve cover clearance is about a finger width with the with the new valve cover that's going on it. We're still sitting level uh, both ways on our intake manifold. Uh, actually, we shifted a little bit. To one side so I'm gonna have to adjust that when I do motor mounts we've got plenty of distributor clearance no problem there and uh, I've crossed or I've double checked the clearance from the cross member to the bell housing and we're now sitting just a hair above 
the cross member. So we're right where it needs to be. So that's where we're at. Valve cover clearance is a little tighter than I would like. We are running urethane mounts, so there's not going to be a lot of motor movement. There's going to be a little bit, but um, I think we're okay where it's at. In order for me to get more clearance at the header and more clearance at the valve cover, I would have to come up and forward more. Uh, and then I'll have to adjust the transmission as well. Which, it's not a huge deal, but I, I was trying to keep it as low as possible in the frame and still have clearance of the oil pan and the, and the bell housing. So, I think that's where it's going to sit for tonight. I'm beat, so I'm going to uh, get a shower, get some food, relax a little bit with the family, and uh, hit this again in the morning get those motor mounts tacked in place and do all of my welding tomorrow so uh, I'm gonna think on this tonight I might readjust it some more in the morning before I uh, build motor mounts my my goal was to build the transmission cross member first so I could get the transmission located at the right height uh, before I made my front motor mounts um, so that's where I'm at right now and uh, I'll think on it tonight and either it'll stay the way it is, which I think is fine, or I may do some more adjusting in the morning. We'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it's kind of a long-winded video. Um, not a whole lot of content today uh, other than the cross member that I built. Um, but we'll try and get some good video for you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, please click like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.